As the 50th anniversary celebration of hip hop continues, the 2023 BT Hip Hop Award honors the best and brightest rappers, singers, and other artists in the popular genre. Let's dive right into it and talk about some green carpet looks at the show. Glorilla looks incredible in a custom faux fur skirt paired with a brown bantu top. I love the fact that she was channeling Lisa Lopez, better known as Left Eye from the R&B girl group TLC. I love the hair, which is also a reference to Left Eye who always stuck to her signature sculptural updos. Next we have Jermaine Dupri in a blue floral embroidered Louis Vuitton signature logo jacket paired with white denim jeans. Sexy Red wore a two-piece set by Futura by Dion. Some of y'all may disagree, but I like her look. Her hair looks great. To elevate this look, I would probably take out some of the necklaces. I don't know. What do you guys think? Koi Ray looks stunning in a magenta embroidered crystal palette fox top and matching wrap mini skirt by Aria. Her look is fresh out the New York Fashion Week runway. The fit is perfect on her. I love that she paired it with these vintage inspired heels. Next we have Yandy Smith who looks absolutely stunning. She wore a custom silver fringe couture look from the Ivy showroom. I expected no less, definitely one of the best dressed. It was a family affair. She walked the green carpet with her kids and husband Mendici, who wore a green Louis Vuitton sweater and rode to all black denim pants. DC Young Fly sported a custom tailored classic khaki suit. I love his look. He is definitely one of the best male dressed on the green carpet. Ariana Fletcher looks stunning. I love her hair and makeup. She wore a black zip-wired corseted set by Dion Lee that featured a belted mini skirt. I love the knee-high Christian Louboutin boots and the Judith Lieber crystal embellished bag. I do wish the top portion of her outfit was more tailored to her bust size. Next we have Fat Joe, his wife Lorena, and daughter Azariah. I love Azariah look, she wore a black claw area mini dress right of the New York Fashion Week Spring 2024 runway. Fat Joe sported a custom jacket from Earthling VIP and red and white Terror Squad Nike shoes. Lorena wore a Maison Alea leather top and a Miri leather cargo pants. She accessorized her look with Rick Owens sunglasses and a Chanel clutch bag. Flo Millie wore a Emilio Pucci Andi print mini dress and a matching silk twill cap. She looks absolutely stunning. Des Dior looks absolutely stunning in a red Victorian lace set by Luxus Label. I love the lace detailing, the pearl necklace, and even the red leather coat being worn in an off-the-shoulder type of way. Debrat, alongside her wife Jessica Judy Harris Dupar, brought a pop of color to the green carpet. Judy wore a Christopher John Rogers checkered print dress. She accessorized her look with D-squared two sandals and a rainbow crystal Judith Lieber bag. Debrat wore purple MNML sweater set and a bathing ape shirt with matching sneakers. Safari showed up to the green carpet with a no-shirt look. Yep, that's right. I guess he was feeling himself. He topped off his look with black diesel spike pants and a silver chain link Alexander McQueen black loafer shoes. Chad Moss, who is also known as Bow Wow, he wore a Saint Vanity look. He looks okay, I guess. To be honest, I wish he wore something else. Next, we have Carly Red, who wore a sheer lace sequins floral embellished couture dress from the Ivy showroom. The dress featured cutout detailing throughout. She looks absolutely stunning. However, I don't know how I feel about the cutout details on her lower half, but I do love the cascading train and her Tom Ford heels. Kali looked elegant in a black plunging neckline Saint Laurent dress that featured a purple flower and ruching detailing in the center. This could have been one of my favorite looks if the hairstyle was different. Maybe an updo or something? I do love the dress though. Young Devin, who is an upcoming New York rapper, is wearing a couture gown from the Ivy showroom. I'm not sure who the actual designer is, but she is slaying this look 100%. She looks beautiful, elegant, and I love all the sequined embroidery and the cutout detailing on the side. Last we have Lola Brooks who is wearing this denim two-piece set by Sex that features green and black flames embroidery detailing. She looks stunning but I do wish her hair was in an updo so that we could get to see more of the top portion of her outfit. Overall this wasn't my favorite red carpet but we did find some looks that we like and some not so much. Don't forget to comment below your favorite green carpet looks that you thought were a hit or a miss.